Hello there. So today I'm going to teach you how to make navigation menus for um, desktop and mobile view, make a responsive navigation using some tutorials found from W3 Schools. And there's three different tutorials here that I'm going to combine together to make this CSS drop down. So this, this drop down here uh, with rollover links across the top here. This is our navigation bar uh, for desktop. Um, and when we mouse over the drop down, we get some sub menus down here. If I shrink this down, I then also have a mobile navigation which appears. This is my mobile navigation here, which then has a curtain menu which comes in from the left. In this case, you can make it coming from the top, uh, or you can make it coming from the right if you really want to. Um, I'm going to make mine coming from the top, I think, for the example I'm going to make here. Um, and then you've got a number of links that you can tap on on your phone. It has got rollovers, but we don't really need these um, for this to be responsive um, because when we're on our mobile phone, we're just going to be tapping on the screen. We're not going to have any mouse cursor to roll over. You've also got a drop down menu here uh, as well, which has had to be done in a slightly different way because we're in a drop down menu. Uh, on mobile view. So the mobile view version of this is slightly different and will need to be made slightly differently as well. So that's actually an accordion where I click on the thing and it reveals a box underneath it. Uh, got a cross here to get rid of that, maximize it, comes back to being desktop view and we can swap back and forth on a responsive web page. So we're going to do all of this in Dreamweaver because uh, we always do. Um, here is the version open up and you can see I've got a media query set up here for this to uh, respond and change at basically anything over 620 pixels. Now that size is just for this example. You'd want to make sure you get the size right yourself um, where if I go over a maximum size of 620, we swap to desktop view and we've got a media query that says that when we swap, to our desktop view in our media query, we end up swapping our navigation bars. These are actually two completely separate navigation bars made in the code. If you look at the code down here, we have a mobile navigation called Mob Nav, and if I just click here, that is everything for the mo mobile navigation. And then above that, we have a desktop navigation, which is a completely separate item in our HTML code. These are all controlled, of course, through CSS. And there's a number of CSS components here, including in the middle, a media query, which holds all of the information we need for the desktop view rather than the mobile view. Okay. Um, so what I have done is in order to create these menus um, in the example here, all they are is floating on their own. They're the only thing in the HTML. When we're actually applying these to real world scenarios, we're actually going to need a fully built website. So I have here what is effectively a stripped down template. You can see it's responsive. The image resizes as we go. Um, there are a number of sections in here and you can actually see I've left space in the code um, for a mobile navigation and a desktop navigation just added as nav elements in the HTML here. So we're going to go through and we're going to add these. Now I'm going to do the desktop navigation first um, because it's slightly simpler. But obviously we are working in a mobile first view here. If you look at my CSS, you can see I have a min width media query, meaning the minimum width of the mobile view. Um, sorry, the minimum width of the desktop view is 620. Anything bigger than that will be showing the desktop view. Anything smaller than that will be showing mobile view. So that's where I've got my selectors for those things. Most of my selectors here are currently in the global because I don't need to change them a huge amount. These are the only three things I've got changing at the moment. I've got the main header changing so that we have the image here taking up different space between these two things, right? There and there, some slight differences between those two. And then I've got a similar thing with my logo and my wrapper where you can see the wrapper particularly is the most obvious thing. In desktop view, there's um, about 
10% left each side of the screen space uh, left empty. So my website sits nicely in the middle. Whereas in the mobile view, it's uh, I think 98% I've got it set to at the moment in the global view there. 98% width so that we get only a little bit down the side and it fills up more of that screen space. Uh, so that's what I've set up as our kind of starting point. And now we just need to add our navigation bars into the space that's been left here. Of course, on one version, we are going to have just the desktop nav. And on the other version, we're just going to have the mobile nav, which I will probably actually anchor to the top of the page and just collapse this down um, in a similar way to the way that I had done that with my example. If you notice, this just sits at the top of the page here, but there's a bit of a gap between the top and that. Uh, desktop navigation so my header would fit in that space if I shrink this down you can see there's almost no gap there at all this is actually fixed at the top of the page so that if I scroll my content on my mobile device this is always available just by tapping on this bar across the top uh, so that's what we're gonna do we'll start with the uh, desktop navigation with a drop down 